Hi and welcome to my second tutorial in the Bryce Master series. In this tutorial we're going to be tiling Victorian wallpaper on these two wall surfaces. Now in the first Bryce tutorial you created a decorative street lamp and we're going to incorporate into that scene with some other buildings and things to make this look like a, a street or a city scape. Basically this here is just a dummy room as you can see up here in the preview window there's no roof on it. It's just two walls, a floor, and a couple of windows. And there's a big globe of light outside casting these shadows in that, or these, uh, this light in the house. Now to tile the Victorian wallpaper, first we have to have a pattern to go by. I downloaded some Victoria, a little square of a Vic picture of Victorian wallpaper, and we're going to use that. Also, a lot of these techniques get into the deep texture editor. They're very advanced. And uh, I've not found those displayed in a lot of other tutorials, so it should be pretty fun. Now, let's go ahead and start. Okay, I'm going to select this wall. Now, we can't apply the texture directly to this wall because there's nothing to apply. You know, no matter what we've got, just stock. We don't have any Victorian wallpaper. So, what we have to do is we have to go up here to this little guy and as you can see it's already loaded but I'm going to get rid of it okay I'm going to show you how to load it alright now I'm going to go ahead and click on load here and it's going to take me to my textures folder where I already had this saved now I'm going to click on this here this is it and when you start the texture editor probably you're going to have that Leonardo da Vinci guy in here just delete all that and uh, you delete that by going up here and or getting rid of it by clicking on that one of these globes and uh, you can click this one here to get rid of the masking image so you come up with just the regular image so this creates a little plane out here and this is where we're going to draw our image from now we go in here and we just simply copy this all right, we can delete this now. And we click on this and materials paste and there we go. And let's take a look. Well, <laughs> that's pretty bold. Quite a wallpapering job. Anyway, uh we want something else. We want more traditional wallpaper. So this is what we're going to do. We're going to go in here and, let's see, remember which one it is. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to set this, I think, to, well, let's try 75%. Yeah, 75. And 75. All right, and let's go back. Okay, and take a look. Okay. Wow, okay. All right, as it renders, you can see that it's coming out sort of how we want it. But the problem is, let me explain something about the wallpaper. Uh, vertical you know, lines in wallpapers, okay, but horizontal lines aren't. And the reason we're getting horizontal lines is because when this this was taken with a camera and a flash, and it sort of lit the center of it up and let the edges dark. And that's why we're getting these this cross hatching here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into GIMP our photo editing program and we're going to fix that. Okay, let's bring GIMP up here. I'm going to open. You can use Photoshop too, but GIMP's free. Okay, so, alright. Now, as we can see here, just looking at it, yeah, it gets bright here and really kind of dark up here. So we need to fix that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go around with the lasso tool and I'm going to grab some of this here that's kind of dark ok 
Okay. And okay. Now I'm going to go up here to image. Let's see the colors, brightness, and contrast. Okay. Now I'm going to just make it a little brighter like that. You kind of now you can see kind of matches sort of the rest of it. Okay, now I'm going to click on this over here. Uh, here, hold on. I'll deselect this. Select. None. Okay. Now I'm going to select these darker areas over here. Okay, same thing. Colors, brightness, contrast. A little too much. You don't want to get too hog wild. Okay, so as you can see here, down here a little bit, we need to get that too. I'm just kind of lassoing around areas. I'm just sort of seeing that need a little bit of help. Oops, wrong one. Colors, brightness, contrast, and just bumping that up a bit. Okay. Hmm. Let's try this. Select none. Okay, file. Save as. Okay, I'm going to go in here and I'm going to turn, wallpaper turn. To JPEG, and I'm going to save it. I'm just going to go down here, click all images, and hit JPEG. Okay, it's going to give me this quality stuff. All right, we can minimize this now and go back in here. So we're going to have to load it up again because it's still operating with the old one. So I'm going to delete this. Delete. Okay, I'm going to load the new one. Okay, wallpaper turn two. All right, you can already just see here that there's a little bit of difference. It's okay. Looks a lot better. So we're gonna go in here to materials, copy this, and we're gonna paste this in here. Okay, we're gonna have to go back and uh, reset our transformation tools. I'm going to go uh, 70 this time. 70. This is adjusting the scale of it. You can see over here. Okay, now I need to delete this. Get rid of that. Now let's see what happens. Okay. Very good. As you can see, uh, as this renders, our wallpaper has taken on a whole lot uh, better look. There's not so much crosshatch in it. And as it renders, you'll begin to see that it's, uh, you know, very, very detailed, very nice, just like we would expect some. Victorian wallpaper to be. I really like wallpaper like this. It's kind of gaudy looking, but uh, I remember those rooms on the old TV show Bonanza. A lot of those rooms in the sets had uh, Victorian wallpaper, and it was really, really cool. And so as this renders out, we can see that you know the wallpaper is looking really nice. Looks like it should. It's very detailed little bit of crosshatch but not that much it's not really extremely imposing like it was before though we could see where the the cutoff is uh, if you get really really close you can see but at the uh, scale we're at right now just in a room scene this is perfectly fine so I'm happy with this and I'm not going to uh, let it go any further so what I'm gonna do here is